Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Want to set a landing page that you've created as the home page of your domain or adjust the 404 error page that appears? During this tech tip, we'll dive into setting a landing page as the home page and 404 error page. Now, as you can see here, I do have our Lead Pages account already pulled up, and we're gonna be focusing on landing pages created under the landing pages section of your account. Now, I did wanna note that if you create and publish a site, the 404 error page and homepage are going to be set up in that site directly. Now, as you can see here, I do have a 404 error page that I've created and published under the landing pages section of my account. And I also have a page that I've called home page under the landing pages section of my account. Let's go ahead and click into the domain section here on the left hand menu, as this is where we're going to select that home page and 404 error page. Now, during this video, I'm going to be using the lead pages domain. All lead pages accounts get a subdomain on our domain, but this would be applicable to a domain that you've connected under the domain section of your account here that you do own. In the domain section here, what we're going to do for the domain that we want to set a homepage and a 404 arrow page for, we're gonna to want to select the down arrow that we see here. This is going to show us our options for the domain. Now, right away, we can see that we have the abilities for homepage. So we can select this. So let's go ahead and click on select. Now, once we do so, we're gonna see a nice little modal appear here, and we're gonna have a field that says select a page. And let's go ahead and click into this. This is gonna show us all the pages that we've created and published within our lead pages account. So we can select one for our homepage. Now, in this case, of course, I did title my page homepage. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select that here. And I'll go ahead and save that. Once I do so, if I visit my root URL, and that's this right here, I'm going to see my page appear, my home page landing page that I've selected appear. So let me bring my browser down here just a little bit so we can see my address bar. And let's go ahead and view. And when we do so, we're gonna see here's my root domains URL, and here's that landing page that I created. All right, now let's move on to the 404 error page. And this would be like if somebody incorrectly uh, types in a URL, for example, this is what they would see. So. In this case, of course, we can go ahead and select a 404 error page to appear. By default, our default 404 error page will appear, but of course we can use a customized page within our account. So let's go ahead and click on the circle next to use one of your landing pages. And again, click into the field that says select a page. In here, again, we're going to see any pages that we've created and published under the landing pages section of our account appear. And again, I've named that page 404 error. So I'll go ahead and select that here and save. Now, once I do so, of course, when we go ahead and click view, we can go ahead and see that customized page that I had created. And of course, I do have a link on it for our homepage. Now, let's head back into the domain section of our account here. And let's say at a later time you find you want to change what was set or remove content from appearing altogether. You certainly can. In order to do this, for example, for the homepage here, we can select a different page to appear, we would just click on the X here, and then we would be able to select from any of the pages that are created and published under the landing pages section of our account. Or, of course, we could remove the home page so we don't have anything appearing, just like this. And we'd see this nice little modal appear, and we would click remove. Now, just like with the home page, of course, for the 404 error page, we can select something different to appear, whether we have that be another landing page we've created in our lead pages account and published, or if we want it to go back to using the default 404 error page from lead pages. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away under support within your lead pages account.